hi and welcome to my channel in today's video we're going to make spicy prawn curry which is a coastal dish from west india so let's get on the video and make our lovely prawn curry and before we can get into our video may I ask everyone to like share and subscribe to our channel and let's get started now, now. to make this lovely prawn curry you will need to make our prawn curry we need rocking prawns uh, 320 grams we need some uh, some tomato puree a can of it two uh, two frozen cubes of two crushed garlic if you don't have frozen you can use fresh but you need that quantity of garlic you need uh, two cubes of crushed ginger about a tablespoon of table salt you can put this as per your your taste as, as as salty as you like it so really it's as per your taste add a tablespoon of red chili powder add a tablespoon of we need some baby potatoes at least seven to eight baby potatoes cumin powder add a tablespoon of coriander powder add a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder and add some couple of drops of lime juice add two tablespoon of cooking oil need some coconut milk also need freshly chopped coriander to make a prawn curry we need to take a pan and heat it and make sure you take a little deeper pan I've taken a shallow pan here but take a deeper one which will accommodate some curry to actually uh, add some ginger two ginger cubes frozen ones add some garlic cubes two frozen ones add some turmeric a teaspoon of it Maybe go with one more teaspoon so that's my turmeric there add a tablespoon of cumin powder add a tablespoon of coriander powder add some salt to taste add some red chili powder finally add some half a glass of water and give it a good stir up some cooking oil two tablespoons give it a good stir now add eight to ten uh, baby potatoes and give it a good stir and then it should look like this a little masala potato like now once our potatoes and our masala is done kind of thing uh, we're gonna add some cut milk into the so our corn curry I've, I've used about a half a can of coconut milk so, so we can have that in there. After adding my coconut milk, I'm just going to add in a bit of tomato puree just to give it a gravy texture. Now add in our pots. They let up prawns cook for 10 to 15 minutes till we can see a gravy texture like this so now our prawn curry has been simmering for about 10 to 15 minutes all together if you have korma's cooking rishado masala uh, this is optional to do it but you can add a little masala into your prawn curry as well remember adding the rishado masala is going to make your prawn curry extremely spicy so just be wary and just use a little bit. So I'm just going to squeeze a tablespoon of Rishado Masala onto my prawn curry. Uh, this is absolutely optional. You can get your Rishado Masala in any Indian store. And uh, it's normally used in Goan dishes. Like, you know, so you can just put this Rishado uh, Masala in to your prawn curry. So let's go and add that now. So in goes my Rishado Masala and give the prawn curry a good stir. 
So I've squeezed in a little more because I just felt we needed a little more. So once we are have our curry ready, if you have coriander, you can add some coriander herbs. You're just going to garnish it with, with a little bit of coriander. And so just, just garnish it with a bit of coriander and our prawn curry is done. It's ready to eat. Uh, and make sure you actually simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes so the prawn is nicely done uh, once it's cooked oh just uh, uh, serve it hot with some boiled rice and enjoy your prawn curry and serve it with boiled rice or basmati rice and enjoy your prawn curry I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have liked our content, please come back for more. And um, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching. Take care and bye-bye.